Welcome to the Ghost Stories YouTube channel. Here, we will bring you the scariest experiences through ghost stories, mysteries, and inexplicable mysteries of the mysterious world. Whether you are someone who enjoys learning about ghost stories or simply looking for a new entertainment experience, our channel will be the ideal destination. Join us in the horror space and get ready for the most tense and scary moments. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Thank you for joining the Ghost Stories YouTube channel, and now, get ready for some spooky moments with us. The Dead Spell Chapter 3 Woke up, it was 3 o'clock at night. At this point, I can no longer keep my thoughts calm. The dream became clearer and clearer, this house was definitely not normal. I stayed up all night again. The next morning, I woke up and packed up a few personal belongings, called Kyo, my best friend, and asked to come over to her house to stay for a few days. He lives in an apartment alone, which is convenient. It's just that sometimes she brings her boyfriend home, so she can't stay there for long. But first I have to leave this house first, then decide what to do. Ghost? I don't believe in ghosts, but right now I can't calmly look at things anymore. These dreams have affected my life and health, I can't sleep. I told Kyo about the dreams. Unlike me, I have a quiet but stubborn appearance and a strong and tough personality. Kyo is feminine, soft both inside and out. Listening to me tell the story, he was so scared that he shed tears, said that the house I lived in was definitely haunted, told me to sell it, move somewhere else, blah blah. I was very tired so I went to bed early. At nine o'clock I climbed into Kyo's bed, and after an afternoon of fear and sighing and sighing for me, I had an appointment to go out with my lover that evening, so I could come home late. He smiled and told me so. I calmly thought, since I'm not in that house anymore, I'll probably sleep very well tonight. But I was wrong again. I dreamed again, this time I was locked in a very dark cellar. All around was darkness, I groped like a blind man. How? Isn't it interesting to live in the dark? A woman's voice rang in my ears. It was not difficult for me to recognize that it was the woman without irises. Who are you? Why do you keep following me? Who I am, one day you will know. The darkness was replaced by dim light. I suddenly saw my aunt chained under a mother of pearl tree, her whole body covered in wounds, blood flowing from her eye sockets. Tam, Tam, escape, child. She waved her hands to push the blood forward as if she wanted to touch me. I didn't dare to come closer but backed away in panic, tears drenching my face. The other woman stood next to my aunt, wearing a colorful ethnic outfit, her eyes were still empty but shining straight at me, laughing loudly, her voice was high-pitched and cruel. Next is you. Are not. I woke up in a panic. 3 a.m., 3 a.m. again. Kyo hasn't returned yet. I sat curled up on the bed, sobbing. I thought that house was haunted and I could move away. I didn't expect that even after moving away, I wouldn't be able to escape her. I'm scared, very scared, maybe it's not that house that's haunted, but the haunted person is me. I wonder if I have done anything so cruel that I am haunted like this. But after living 24 years in this world, I may not always be a person who does good deeds, but I have also never done anything evil, living without shame in my conscience, why does she haunt me? I sobbed until 4 o'clock when Kyo returned. It's tipsy. I hugged it in fear and recounted the dream I had just had. Kyo heard a few words and immediately fell asleep. I smacked my lips, it's not unusual for me to fall asleep when I'm drunk. The next day, I took leave from work and went home to see my mother. My house is in the old town, very small. Previously, the room my brother and sister-in-law lived in was our room, divided in half to accommodate the two brothers, one on each side. Now it's one room, becoming his and his wife's room, so I can't go back to my house. If my siblings saw that I had a big, 
beautiful house but still deliberately sneaked into it, wouldn't they think I was petty and selfish? I pulled my mother into the room, crying and telling the story. After hearing this, my mother was very scared and worried, so she held my hand and trembled for a while. Then she said that tomorrow she would take me to back John to meet a psychic who was very good at calling souls. She would try to call my aunt's soul and ask who the other woman was. And tonight, just go back to that house to sleep, don't stay at Kyo's house anymore. Mom will come sleep with me. Thinking that I have someone to sleep with makes me less worried. Tomorrow I'll go back to back John to call my soul, hoping everything goes well. Night. I lay in my mother's arms, awake thinking, until after one o'clock I fell asleep. At midnight, I suddenly felt someone pulling my leg. As usual, I picked up my phone to see, it was 3 a.m. I turned to look at my mother. My mother was still sleeping soundly, even snoring a little. I clicked my tongue. My mother is here, it's okay. I opened the door to the bathroom next door. This house is designed in an old-fashioned style, the toilet is not located in the room so it is quite inconvenient, especially the previous nights when I slept alone and did not dare to go to the toilet and waited until morning. But today my mother is here so I'm more confident. While washing my hands, I heard the sound of someone walking in the hallway. I was a bit scared and asked loudly, Mom. I'm in here. But no one responded. A pile of goose bumps arose on my back, so scared that my scalp was numb. Mom? I asked loudly again. Still no one answered me. Thunder and lightning boomed, rain poured down, and my house lost power. My heart sank. The thought of being alone in a dark bathroom scared me to death. I was sure that if I didn't go to the bathroom, I would immediately pee in my pants. Thank you for taking the time to watch Ghost Stories video. Hopefully the content has brought you interesting and meaningful moments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the Ghost Stories YouTube channel to follow the channel's next videos. See you in the next video. Have a good day.